Hello and welcome back to the Max Voltage YouTube channel. Today we got a little bit different one. I am going to show you how to change out your fans on a, an Asus 3000 series Asus KO. It's really simple. They really did a good job on this design, even though it's kind of a flamboyant design and at the time was overpriced. But I am very happy that I had two of these. Only one of them had fans go bad. And that, the one had it go bad twice the second time I've replaced it. But this time I'm replacing it with original fans as opposed to third-party fans. So we should be in much better shape this time. So without further ado, let's go. All right, let's get started. So as you can see, well, it's kind of actually, this one's not, hor that one's not horrible. That one you can definitely tell. These fans are not good. I will not resell a card like this. So I did purchase these from GPU Fan Replacements, also known as Fanholics. Um, so these will be the ones And these. I think when I did these, these weren't actually supposed to go on this, but they worked. But maybe that's why they, they petered out, because they were replacements. These are, you can tell, original replacements, because you can tell by the actual... Uh, stickers on the front of them. So let's get started. The nice thing about this particular GPU is that you do not have to split the whole card apart. I did another video on this, but have a little bit better angle on it here. So all you need to do is remove this screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw, and the front comes off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this, oh, there, there's one more, I forgot. There's that one on the end, right there. And, I, and there's also one on the front. Forgot about those two. Ooh, that's bad. And I found it, so that's good. All right, so that side's off, but I forgot. There's still one more on this side that needs to come off. Actually, I think it's all three of these that need to come off. The back ones do not. All three. All right, now, here, let me move this so we get a better look at it. That is what we needed to do. So now we need to unscrew these fans and get the new ones in. Before we do that though, and you can tell these were a little bit different fans because these have a different label on them. And I remember this is what the other label looked like. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out which one goes where. It goes the other way. It'll go like that. This one will go here. This one will go here. Like so. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put that in that orientation so I know. And get these taken out. fun to get them out of the clip. There we go. And trying to get the fan cord out from underneath. There we go. And then I need to unplug. 
unplug this from the GPU. And this sometimes can be a real pain. There we go. And they're free. I'm just gonna throw those on the floor because they are garbage. Now, we know that this one needs to get plugged back into here. That is now in. Slip this guy back down. And let's get our fans in. And it's gonna go right there. And then we'll worry about putting them in. perfectly later as far as the cabling goes. I think it's good enough where I should be able to run that cable. But you can see how much easier this particular GPU is compared to other ones where you just can't get at the screws. Ah. Hey, it's not a repair job until you almost lose a screw. Or at least that you drop a screw. Yeah, I didn't use trays this time. As far for the uh, screws, but I kept them separate. So I knew which ones went where. last words, right? And I'll be like, wait a minute, where does this screw go? It's in, but didn't bottom out like the other ones. That's okay. I'm still holding it. Yeah, that one keep it. yeah it's not rattling or anything. All right, so obviously I need to run these wires and everything, but that will just go on like that. Let's, ah, much nicer, much nicer. And we'll tear those stickers off in a little bit. Yeah, this is the part I absolutely hate. There we go. There we go. Now it's out of the way. And that'll go there. Sweet. Okay. Let's put this back on. Those need to go there. Yeah. There we go. Now it is on. I just turn it over everything down and we'll be good to go so we're gonna screw on the three front ones first and the one back one so I have no affiliation with them but I've had really good luck buying from gpufanreplacements.com they're based in uh, China, but uh, have had good luck with them. Uh, this is the, I don't know, a bunch I've ordered from them. And uh, this, the one I'm replacing, was one that I got through... Uh, that's the right yeah. right, let's make sure I'm putting that in the right spot. Yes. Um... 
Okay, this one I'm gonna have to look at a little closer. Ah, there we go. Just had to get it lined up. That's the reason why I wanted to do these that one first. Alright, so those two are in. I just got the last four to go in. And then I'll be done. There's really not much to this one. It's, this is um, an unusual GPU by, uh, by Asus. Uh, they... Well, I shouldn't just say them. A lot of them you have to either take it completely off, take the, the card apart, take the heatsink off of the actual board in order to get to the screws and everything in order to separate it. There's a few exceptions. Um, I have a Gigabyte where if you have a special tool, so you have like a 90 degree uh, screw, you can actually do it as well. But, uh, like I said, not typical. And the 90 degree screw, I'll tell you, is like a lot harder to do than this one. This one is the simplest fan replacement that I've ever done in this model. Not the first time I've done it, because this is the second time I've done it on this one. I have another KO that I haven't had to do it on. So, but now we are all done. We are as good as new. Everything is spinning nicely. Let's see if we can get a little ASMR with the, with the sticker. We are all done. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching. I hope that helps somebody out there. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would appreciate it. And of course, if you want to keep seeing this content, make sure you hit the bell icon as well. Alrighty, guys, have a good one. The general is out.